Napolitano, California. The gentlelady from California is recognized for three minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Larson. I speak, I rise in very strong opposition to the resolution of disapproval. This clean water was not always a partisan issue, and no issue is more important among American families than the protection of our nation's waters. Now is the worst time to lower our guard on protecting clean water as over half of the United States are experiencing drought conditions. Even though we've had rain, we're still in a drought condition. We need to be doing everything to ensure our cities, our businesses, and our farmers have sufficient, safe, and sustainable supplies of water to meet our economic and agricultural needs, our quality of life needs, and our day-to-day -day survival. This is especially true in my home state of California, as the Metropolitan Water District, the biggest in the area, commented on our subcommittee last month, the definition of voters is central to the Clean Water Act's implementation and it has significant implications for water agencies, our day-to-day -day operations in them, and for our water source protection efforts. That is why I support the efforts of the Biden administration to permanently repeal the previous administration's dirty water rule, a rule that eliminated federal protections on a minimum of 75% of streams and wetlands that have been protected by the Act since its inception. These waters and wetlands are critical to capturing and storing rain and snow melt to ensure the long-term supply of water and recharge our underground water aquifers. Mr. Speaker, I cannot understand how this resolution, which seeks to undermine and confuse agency efforts to protect our clean water, makes sense to my constituents who are already making sacrifices to protect our local waters. This resolution should increase levels of pollution in our water bodies, increase risk of downstream flooding, and make it harder for communities like mine to maintain sustainable sources of drinking water. Worst of all, hardworking American families would have to pay for the horrible impacts of this resolution. The Biden rule provides the best available option to balance the need for protection of waters with the desire for familiarity and workability within the constraints of the law and the interpretations of the Supreme Court. This resolution achieves none of those outcomes and is only likely, more likely, to make it worse, not better. Mr. Speaker, I very strongly oppose the resolution. And I would like to introduce to the record statement of administration policy from the Executive Office of President on House Resolution 27, providing for congressional disapproval on the Chapter 8 of Title V, United States Code of the Rule, submitted by the Department of the Army, Corps of Engineers, the Department of Defense, and the EPA relating to revised definition of water in the United States. I yield back.